Today we're in Quilpy and we're at the Quilpy Cemetery. We've come at nine o'clock in the morning this time, so hopefully so it's we'll not beat so the hot. heat. Yeah. Um, there's a nice breeze, so. And they predict 36 top. And we don't know how old this cemetery is. I haven't done any research into it, so let's go have a look. Let's go. There's a lot of mounds of dirt, isn't there? Must be pretty old. Oh, look, they've had services. Oh, that's probably ready for today, John. No wonder. In loving memory of Kathleen Mary Rach Nee McKellar, or Toddley, 31st the 8th, 1933 to the 24th of the 1st, 2016. Beloved mother, grandmother, great grandmother, daughter, sister, auntie, and great auntie. Oh, yeah. By looking at this, it doesn't look like old, but there's a lot of graves in here that that haven't been, you know, finished off. Look at the mounds of dirt. In loving memory of our dear mum and nan, Lorna Elizabeth Johnson Lee Henderson. Look at her, she's a sweetie. He's an ex serviceman Q273943 Private VN Hamlin 26 Infantry Battalion 11th of March 2007 age 79 Husband of Betty deceased father of Helen and Marie Shane and Brett Betty's next door here. In loving memory of Betty Hamlin, loved wife of Vince, loved mother of Helen and Marie, Shane and Brett, loved grandmother and great grandmother, passed away 23rd of September 2004. Boundary one, no, no um, headstone. Oh, look at this horsey one. Loving memory of Robert Neil Heinemann or Bob, 21st of the 3rd, 1934 to 30th of the 8th, 2010. I can see the, the sun is not going to be in my favour today, is it? There is a um, there is a setup. It looks like they're getting ready for a service today up the, the end up there. In loving memory of my husband, our father, grandfather and great grandfather, Ian Melville Lil Lilbourne, 27th of July 1932, 6th of 12, 2010. Oh, this lady's a nurse and even though it's 2020, this is beautiful. In loving memory of Lily Thompson, 23rd of May 1937 to the 6th of January 2020 much loved sister and aunt now at rest miss me but let me go how nice is that this is such this is quite big and because the service is going to happen I, I don't want to spend too much time this is beautiful Forever in our hearts, William Willie Lander, born 9th of May 1931, passed 8th of March 1991, aged 59 years. You are a dearly loved son, husband, father, brother, uncle, grandfather, great grandfather, and friend. Outback Stockman. I'm wondering if this one is an ex-serviceman. It hasn't got a proper plaque yet. 
Edward Woodroff and it says SX oh I'll have to change sides sorry Edward SX 12368 died 1991 I'll have to go into my military records and see if that's actually a military number there's no other information there this one's nice it's for Chico in memory of Alan Carroll born 22nd of March 1958 died 18th of June 1994 in our hearts always loving wife Julie son Ashley and family yeah I'm not going to have the other show you a lot of headstones guys because of the sun position but I'll read them out John Tech McKenzie 10th of the 4th 1914 to 18th of September 1994 son of John and Olive Lillian, brother to Dave and May, friend to the people of Quilpie, rest in peace. Alfred Donald Angus, QX25068, 49th Battalion, AIF, died the 13th of the 12th, 1992, age 70. another ex serviceman up here guys Q127907 private IL McMenus Army Service Corps 3rd of May 1968 age 54 beloved husband of Dulcy father of Del Graham and Mary and in God's care This is Ruby Lavinia McManus, died 20th of March 1964. In loving memory of Samuel Bryan, died 27th of July 1958, aged 62, four months. In rem remembrance of our baby son, Michael Stanley, first the 1st, 1958. One five zero seven five nine leading aircraft F L T N E Royal Australian Air Force thirty first of August nineteen ninety eight age seventy three. You were a special friend. You were a special friend to us all. We miss you, Tim. Kath Edwards, Pinkinetta, born Quilpie, 12th of the 2nd, 1940, died Quilpie, 24th of the 4th, 1999, from leukemia. I'm going to try to find some older ones, guys, but yeah, we feel very uncomfortable that there is going to be a burial today, and we feel we can't have cameras going, so I'll just do a quick walk around find some interesting um, graves and then we'll, we'll head off I'm not sure what language this is actually I've noticed a lot of people are from Poland a lot of Polish people in Quilpie can someone confirm that Jan Razuski born Rebellia Poland This 
just keep moving and QX four five eight three three Lance Corporal H J Donman two seventeenth Infantry Battalion second of August nineteen eighty two age fifty eight beloved husband of Delma father of Jenny John Cheryl Larry Doug and Lisa and also Delma is um, buried here. This, I'm not going to come close, but this, there's a smiling face imprinted in the window of our minds. There's a singing voice that echoes in the fragile, fragile winds of time. In our memories of dancing feet, we'll hold the threads of life, until again you'll meet old mate, the ones you left behind. We'll live our lives, we'll laugh and dance, we'll go another mile towards that place of happiness. Eternal will unite. Wow, accidentally drowned. Mark Roger McKellar, Charleville, 18th of the 9th, 1965. Akin He Station, 15th of the 1st, loving memory of Janice Margaret Wing, beloved daughter of Bob and Lorna, departed on the 28th of August 1966, aged eight years and four months. That's obviously an old one there. I have found another ex-serviceman, guys. Let's go up to him. QX 13799 Bombardier HV Tully, 2nd 10 Field Regiment, RAA, December, 27th of December 1976, age 60, husband of Mary, father of Michael, Ross, Andrew, Dick, Bill, Bob, Jack, Robin, Mac and Mary Jane, and his wife Mary has been buried next to him. Here is another ex-serviceman right up the back here guys. Sorry I'm rushing this but like I said I don't want to be here when family have a service. It's just very disrespectful. So we've got 77067 leading aircraftman EJ Presnell, Royal Australian Air Force, 29th of November 2005, age 91. dry out here you would not get any grass growing H John Murray beloved husband father grandfather and brother father-in-law and friend 10th of July 1934 6 to 6 2016 this is a nice um, statue up here I'm kind of weaving my way but I just love this statue of the angel overlooking Kate. In loving memory of my dear wife and our mother Kate Dowsett, died 12th of March 1950, aged 71 years, erected by her loving husband John. Isn't that gorgeous? 
In loving memory of my dear wife and our mother, Ethel Marie Glynn, died November 11th, 1944, aged 48. A precious one from us is gone, a voice we loved is stilled. A place is vacant in our home which never can be filled. Ever remembered mother, erected by her loving husband and family. In loving memory of our dear son and brother, Alan Gregory, or Agan, oh, Alan Gregory Angus, accidentally killed 18th of October, 1945, aged 16 months. It's actually Crickory, it's not Gregory. Oh, poor Alan. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly go up and down the aisles. Um, obviously I'll have to do a lot of editing on this one. Yeah, my dear husband and father Robert Johnson died 3rd of June 1940. O sacred heart of Jesus, we give him unto your keeping. Let him henceforth be a messenger of love between our hearts and thine. Can't read the headstone on this, but that's pretty cool if you can see that. In loving memory of my dear husband, our father, James Brennan, passed away 28th of February 1942, aged 80 years, a loving smile, a happy face, a broken link we can never replace. Loving memory of Thomas Brown, 1877 to 1937. In loving memory of my dear husband and of our father, George Henry Crow, who departed this life on the 1st of May 1937, aged 65. Not today, but every day in silence, we remember how dear you were to us. In loving memory of our dear mother, Clara Jane, Clara Jane Crow, passed away 6th of June 1948. It's another one with just a page. In loving memory of Patrick Donnelly, 1851. 1932 Sacred Heart of Jesus have mercy on his soul rest in place rest in peace a token of his love from his loving children in loving memory of Jeronis Gibbet died 21st of June 1921 aged 72 years also Ellen Jane Gepet or Jepet Died 25th of February 1926, aged 77 years. You are gone but not forgotten, nor is the good advice you gave. Loving thoughts will ever linger round our darling parents' grave. That's bloody beautiful. In loving memory of Michael Jerome Power, died 3rd of April 1929, aged 69 years. 
We loved him in life, let us not forget him in death. Directed by his loving wife and family. Alan, first son of Charles and Alice Wade. Birth, 4th of December 1940. Death, 4th of December 1940. loving memory of our dear wife and our mother, Ellen Bridget Angus, died 2nd of January 1928 in her 23rd year. Just one year ago, my dear Nellie, I stood beside your bed. My heart was crushed and broken when I saw that you were dead. You often said that I would miss you. Your words have proved to be true. And too often I am sad and lonely and so long and grieved for you. Here's another ex-serviceman up here. I often wonder why some of them have got different headstones and I'm wondering if the family paid for this. QX10022 Gunner A. Breen from the 710 Field Regiment RAA 18th of July 1950 age 49 lest we forget. Affectionate memory of Godfrey Desbo, Desbo, 1870 to 1951. In loving memory of our beloved daughter Jean Lynette Heinemann, died 14th of February 1951, aged three and a half years. Sadly missed by Kath, Reg, and Sister Kay. Rest in peace. Look up the back here. Can you see all those little crosses? In loving memory of our son and brother, Edward Gordon Thompson, age, uh, died 13th of January 1952, aged nine months. I've got to walk up the back here. I'm wondering if this is, I don't know. I wonder what all these little crosses are. Wow. There's got to be a history behind this and I'm going to, be determined to find that out. What are all these unmarked crosses? They're very small graves. So they have to be babies. But why? Why are they unmarked? I feel like I'm in the American desert. One thing I do appreciate about this cemetery is they've actually got these little walkways here. It's another ex-serviceman, guys. QX19900 Private EW Benthian 18 AITB 15th of March 1976, age 62. another one of those crosses but it's actually got the boundary around it and then there's another one next to it it's very strange oh and there's another one here here's James Parker 1665 died 1946 age 63 another one of those um Clarks with just a number. Dear husband and father, Harry Robinson departed this life 1st of October 1945, age 58. Loved in life, honoured in death. A beautiful memory is all we have left. Here's another ex-serviceman. 
down here we have Q266349 Private A Hennessy from the 9th Infantry Battalion, 3rd of November 1954, age 38. Dearly loved and sadly missed by his mothers, sisters and brothers. Okay guys, this wasn't the whole of Quilby Cemetery. Um, I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. It's probably getting, getting close to 10 o'clock now. So I do, like I said, I don't want to be here when people start turning up for their service. Um, you know, you've got to have a bit of respect out here well, in any cemetery. So um, yes, it wasn't the full cemetery. Um, I found as much as I could, but again, it wasn't a historical cemetery either. Plenty of ex servicemen, so I'll do my research on them and you'll see that throughout the video. But yeah, thanks for watching again, and we'll see you at the next um, Outback Town. So, we're at the Visitor Information Centre, and I asked the lady about those little white crosses, and she didn't know, but she pulled out the cemetery registry and we just went through it. That's what took me so long. Uh -huh. They're all stillborns. Uh -huh. And I don't know if we're actually in the screen or not because I can't see the front of the camera. Yeah, John's played with the camera.